Hopefully, you're already finding Ubuntu to be very intuitive. You have applications over here on the launcher. If you would like to find a particular program, then you can search for it by clicking up here on the Ubuntu logo and then selecting the type of application that you would like to search for. For example, if I'm looking for an email program, I can type email in here and notice that Thunderbird Mail comes up even though email is not in the name of the application. If you're not familiar with Thunderbird, this is the default email client in Ubuntu 14. It is made by the same folks who make Firefox web browser. It is a very good utility, a good application. Uh, I like it very much. It's completely free. You can also download it for uh, Windows if you would like to do that. Now, one of the most popular applications that we'll get to in a little bit is going to be the terminal. We're not going to talk in depth about the terminal right now, but this is one of the things that sets Ubuntu apart from other operating systems. You see, Ubuntu and Linux in general have not completely moved on from a command line interface. They haven't completely moved on from this idea that users can input things on the command line and really give commands directly to the system without a graphical user interface. I don't view this as a limitation, rather I view it as an advantage. Nevertheless, it can be a stumbling block for new users to Ubuntu or any Linux distribution. Let's go ahead and open the terminal now by clicking on its icon. This brings up our terminal window where we can input commands directly to the system. For example, ls. Type ls and then hit enter. This lists the contents of our current directory. Again, for now you don't need to know how to use the terminal. We'll cover that in a separate section. However, I would like for you to close out of that terminal window, click on the Ubuntu logo, and take this terminal icon, click hold, and drag it over here to your launcher just below the Ubuntu logo. This is a way that we can add any program to the launcher, but I specifically want you to add the terminal to the launcher as we will be using it later. Let's also go ahead and move Thunderbird to our launcher. Click, hold, and drag it to the launcher. Let's put it right below Mozilla Firefox. Now that's one way that we can add things to the launcher. We can also rearrange things on our launcher if we would like to do that. So click the logo to move out of search mode. And now if we want to, we can rearrange our icons on the fly. I like having LibreOffice all together and I'd like Firefox to be above Thunderbird and so I'll organize my icons like this.